Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the damn vulnerable web application section file inclusion on the low and medium security settings. So you can see it gives us this page right and it basically says hey you can include any other page using this page parameter in the URL. So if we just pass something that's garbage in here, you can see we get a bunch of different warnings back, right? So it and in this warning, it looks like it passes us the current working directory, which is this fi directory. So we can use this information and we can also combine that with the dot dot backslash or forward slash. This pretty much just signifies, hey, we want to go back a directory. So we can say, hey, I want to go back a directory, back a directory, back a directory, and back another directory. And then we can then go to any, you know, file on the system. So we want to go back, I think, five times. One, two, three, four, five. So one two, three, four, five, and then let's just print out the co contents of etc password D. And you can see it gives us the file contents of this file. So this contains all the users. We can do host name, host name to get the host name of the computer. So we can see it's metasploitable. And so what we just did is called LFI. What we did is local file inclusion. We were able to um, locally include files that were outside of our hosted directory. Another thing we can do is RFI or remote file inclusion and this includes including files from different websites. So let's go ahead and go up here and let's do HTTPS whoops www.google.com and you can see we're able to include this google.com page right and now it's not really functional but we were able to include it since we confirm we're able to exploit rfi let's include a reverse tcp backdoor that grants us a shell i'm going to leave this github link in the description for the php shell you want to scroll down and you want to download this and you want to change this ip so i already have this downloaded and i already have it edited so i'm going to close out of that i'm going to go back to the file inclusion and what i'm going to do is is i'm going to open a terminal up and in, in one terminal, I'm going to use Python. So I'm going to do Python dash M for H, HTTP server. So this is going to say, hey, start Python, use the module HTTP.server, and I want to bind it to this IP address. In another shell, you want to do NC dash LNVP, and then I'm going to do port 1234. So this is going to say, hey, I want you to listen on all local on all local networks on this port for any remote connections and then so we have this directory right so let's go to this I'm gonna copy this and then in this directory you can see there's that backdoor.php so I'm gonna add that here and now what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna put this whole URL in the include statement and then I'm gonna press enter you can see that it's spitting here and it looks like it's working so let's go ahead and go to um, oh, I didn't press enter. Let's go ahead and go here. Let's refresh. And there we go. So now we have a shell. So now I want to stabilize the shell. So I'm going to check to see if Python's installed. It is. So I'm going to use Python dash C import PTY PTY dot spawn slash bin bash. And there we go. So now we have a bin bash shell. So I'm going to stop this listener. I'm going to keep this open for now because we're going to need that later. I'm going to close out of this. So now I'm going to change the security settings to medium. And let's go ahead and go over that. Back to file inclusion. And let's try the same thing, right? So let's go ahead and do... We want this one. And then it says, fail to include. And then it says 192.168.076 backdoor.php. But you can see down here that the PHP, or I'm sorry, the HTTP in front of this is missing. So we don't see that HTTP um, signifier. So let's go ahead and view source. And you can see all it's doing is it's replacing that HTTP or HTTPS keyword with nothing. So it's just replacing this with nothing. So how do we exploit this? So what we can do is if it only replaces this word, what we can do is we can say, okay, yeah, you replace this word. And before that, we're just going to say HTTP. And then after that, we're going to do colon slash slash. So what it's going to do is it's going to replace this keyword in the middle, right? HTTP colon slash slash. It's going to replace that with nothing. 
which is going to leave us with this whole complete URL. So let's go ahead and press enter. Oh wait, before we do that, let's go ahead and start our session. And then let's go back up here and let's press enter. And you can see once again, it says successfully opened a reverse shell. You do who am I? And there we go, it's working. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was um, a video going over RFI and LFI. If you guys want me to take a look at anything else, please let me know.